You got to look at the Clyde Davises of the world, Andre Harrell. They turned that man out. Suge even said when artists were with him on death row, the most they could do was smoke weed. But once they started becoming more commercial, they were introduced to cocaine. Remember, Selena Powell said that Snoop Dogg was doing bumps of lime off of her coochie. Okay? Snoop Dogg was snoring coke off her coochie. She said this years ago. Now, another thing I find interesting is that recently somebody ran into Clive Davis and they asked him, you know, well, well, Clive, what do you think about the Diddy allegations? And now Clive is trying to play crazy. He's trying to play like a senile old man, acting like he doesn't know who Diddy is. Uh, bitch, first of all, we have plenty of receipts showing you alongside Diddy. But see, that's what they're going to do now. Now he's out there on his own. Okay? So all these people are going to try and play willfully ignorant, especially the older ones. And that's the same thing, you know, that Harvey Weinstein tried to do. When he was out here raping people and, and being a sexual deviant, he was walking just fine. But then once he got arrested and had to go through court, all of a sudden he needed a walker, he needed a cane. So these guys know how to play this little game that they play. Check out what Clive Davis had to say. People are curious about the status of P. Diddy. Uh, P. Diddy. Diddy. What do you make of that situation? Right. No comment from Clive Davis on P. Diddy. Mr. Davis, you're a major influence on the career of P. Diddy. Have you spoken to him since the federal rape? Yeah. Have you spoken to Sean Combs? Any comment, Mr. Davis? Any comments about Diddy? He credits you as one of his mentors. Okay. <laughs> His old ass wrote up that window, put that dog on his lap, and was like, fuck you, media. These dudes be untouchable. Diddy thought he could be up in those spaces and he forgot you're a guest in the house of Clive Davis and these white overseers, okay? He thought that he was so big and bold that he was the black version of Clive Davis, that he could go after Diageo, he could be a sexual deviant on the same level as a Clive Davis. They will always have the complexion for the protection. You see how he didn't answer no questions? He acted like the dude wasn't in there. He rolled up that window like, bitch, next. <laughs> <laughs> who you can't make this stuff up also let's not forget that back in the day on the original Machiavelli cover that people are now trying to buy it's going up for auction for what I'm hearing on the original Machiavelli cover you have this is there was an artist who drew this his name was Ronald Risky Brent and basically on the back of that 